Yo, we talking about Sean Diddy Combs, man. A name synonymous with hustle, ambition, and relentless drive. This brother went from intern to icon, straight out of Harlem. He started from the bottom, grinding his way up in the music industry. He ain't just a rapper, he's a whole brand. From music to fashion, to spirits, Diddy has his hands in everything. Bad Boy Records, that's his baby. He built it from the ground up, creating a legacy in hip hop. C-Rock? Yeah, he put that on the map, turned it into a household name, making it synonymous with luxury and celebration. Diddy's a hustler, a businessman, a force in hip hop. He's always pushing boundaries, always innovating. But let's be real, his journey ain't been all champagne and platinum records. It's been a roller coaster of highs and lows. This brother's been through some things, man. He's faced challenges that would break most people. Legal battles, controversies, you name it. He's been in the spotlight for both his triumphs and his trials. It's like they say, mo money, mo problems. The more he achieved, the more obstacles he faced. We gotta talk about it though. We can't ignore the struggles that shaped him. We gotta examine the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's all part of his story, a story of resilience and determination. Cause to understand Diddy's impact, you gotta understand the whole story. The man behind the mogul. From the streets of New York to the heights of Hollywood, Diddy's story is one for the books. It's a journey of transformation and evolution. It's a story about ambition, about success, but also about the price of fame. The sacrifices made along the way. And trust me, it's a story you need to hear. It's a testament to what it means to chase your dreams, no matter the cost. December 27, 1999, Club New York. It was supposed to be just another night of glitz and glamour, a typical evening for the rich and famous. This ain't no party though. This is where things went left real quick. Shots rang out, people scrambled for cover. The air was thick with panic and confusion. Diddy, his then girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez and his crew, they were caught in the middle of it all. What started as a night of celebration turned into a nightmare. By the time the smoke cleared, three people were injured. The scene was chaotic, with paramedics rushing to help the wounded and police trying to make sense of the madness. Diddy and J. Lo, they got out of there, but the cops, they were waiting. The flashing lights of police cars painted a grim picture. Charges were filed, gun possession, bribery, you name it. The legal system was ready to make an example out of him. The trial was a whole media circus, man. Reporters and photographers swarmed the courthouse. Every detail of the case splashed across headlines. Diddy maintained his innocence, and in the end, he was acquitted of all charges. The courtroom erupted in mixed reactions, but the damage was done. The incident left a mark on his public image, one that wouldn't easily fade. His reputation took a hit. The streets were talking. Gossip and rumors spread like wildfire, and the media had a field day. This incident, it cast a shadow over his career, one that he's still trying to shake off. Even today, the echoes of that night linger, a reminder of how quickly things can change. Now let's talk about Bad Boy Records, one of the most iconic labels in hip-hop history. Diddy, also known as Sean Combs, built this empire from the ground up, turning it into a powerhouse in the music industry. He put on legendary artists like The Notorious B.I.G., Maze, and The Locks, who all became household names under his guidance. But over the years, there's been a lot of talk about how Diddy ran things behind the scenes, and not all of it has been positive. See, a lot of artists, they felt like they got played. They felt like they were promised the world, but ended up with far less. Many of them signed contracts when they were young and inexperienced, not fully understanding the fine print and the long-term implications. While Diddy amassed a fortune, living a life of luxury, many of his artists struggled financially, feeling they didn't get their fair share of the profits. We're talking lawsuits, public feuds, and a lot of bad blood. The notorious B.I.G.'s estate, Mace, even Lil' Kim, they all had their issues with Diddy. Mace, who was one of Bad Boy's biggest stars, publicly called out Diddy for unfair business practices. Lil' Kim also had her share of grievances. These disputes often got ugly, playing out in the media and causing a lot of drama. This ain't just about money, though. It's about something deeper. It's about respect, loyalty, and the feeling of being valued. 
Many artists felt betrayed, like they were just pawns in a bigger game. And for a lot of these artists, they felt like Diddy. He wasn't keeping it real. They wanted more than just financial compensation. They wanted acknowledgement and respect for their contributions. Now, this next part, it's heavy. We gotta talk about Tupac. As we all know, Pac was tragically gunned down in 1996. It's one of hip-hop's greatest tragedies, no doubt. But for years, there's been whispers, conspiracy theories about what really went down. And Diddy's name, it's been thrown around in all of this. Some folks believe that the East Coast-West Coast rivalry, the beef between Biggie and Pac, it went deeper than music. They say it was about money, about power, and that Diddy was somehow involved. Now, let me be clear. There's never been any evidence to support these claims. Diddy has always denied any involvement in Pac's death. But still, the rumors persist. They follow him like a shadow. Section 5. The Price of Fame, Legal Battles, and Reputations Look, when you're at the top, everybody's watching. Every move you make, every word you say, it's scrutinized. And when you make mistakes, well, they're magnified. Diddy's legal troubles, the controversies, they've definitely taken a toll on his reputation. Some people see him as a ruthless businessman, someone who's always looking out for number one. But here's the thing, man. We all make mistakes. We all got flaws. And just because someone's in the public eye, it doesn't mean they're perfect. The question is, can Diddy learn from his past? Can he grow from these experiences? Can he use his platform to make a positive impact? Section 6. Beyond the Headlines, Diddy's Impact on Hip Hop Now, despite all the drama, we can't deny Diddy's impact on hip hop. This brother, he changed the game. He brought a new level of flash, of business savvy to the industry. Bad Boy Records, they were a force to be reckoned with. They dominated the charts, they influenced a generation of artists. And Diddy, he was the mastermind behind it all. He had an ear for talent, a knack for marketing. He knew how to make stars. And he wasn't afraid to push boundaries, to break the mold. Section 7. Building an Empire, Diddy's Business Acumen And let's not forget about Diddy's business empire. This brother, he's a mogul, plain and simple. From music to fashion to vodka, he's got his hands in everything. He's a master brand builder, a marketing genius. He knows how to sell a lifestyle, an image, and he's not afraid to take risks, to invest in himself. Diddy's success in the business world, it's undeniable. He's created jobs, he's empowered others. He's shown that hip hop, it's not just about music, it's about building generational wealth. Section eight, legacy in the balance, Diddy's complicated story. So where does Diddy stand today? That's the million dollar question. His legacy, it's complicated. There's the good, the bad, and everything in between. He's a hip-hop icon, a business mogul, a cultural influencer, but he's also been embroiled in controversy, accused of wrongdoing. Only time will tell how history will judge Sean Diddy Combs. But one thing's for sure, his story is far from over. He's still got chapters to write, lessons to learn, and a legacy to define.